everyone and welcome to my channel, C'est La Vie. Today I have a little teeny St. Vincent de Paul from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario and a small value village hall that I'm just going to combine. St. Vincent de Paul, it's, it's a tiny little store. We were actually looking for shorts for my youngest when we were in holidays. Kind of my fault, kind of his fault. We decided to leave a day earlier, so I I was busy packing, getting things ready, getting... The dogs came with us, but all the other animals stayed at home, so lining everything up for my friend. Anyway, long story short, my youngest didn't pack shorts. He has a ton of shorts, so I did not want to go buy him brand new shorts, so my mother-in-law and I checked some thrift stores, and it was hard to find shorts. So anyway... That's why we went into the St. Vincent de Paul. And I actually love going in there. It's just a tiny little, and you never know what you're going to find. So for 25 cents, there was these bag of uh, silk peonies. And then I'll show you this last. This is just, you know, your light pink peony, your uh, darker pink peony, red peony. I don't have this color. My neighbors do. I, I'm growing some, but they take a few years to flower. So, but th these are the colors I have in my real ones. And then this is falling apart, but I don't care. I got it for crafting to take apart. It's actually a burlap hydrangea, but it's like squished flat. But you know, I, the broken pieces I thought would be really cute in crafting. So 25 cents. Yep. And I can pull the petals off of these, whatever I decide to do with them. Um, they're, to me, I'm not going to use them for anything floral or anything like that. So I got those. Then I also got their, just trying to think, the rest I believe is Value Village. No, one thing, okay, these three things. I got this, it was 50 cents, and it's this uh, embroidery type thread. However, this one is more of a, a corded looking one. And I really liked it. And I love the color of that green. So, yeah, I got that. 50 cents. About half the roll left. And then this one is a full roll. And it's 50 cents. And, well, we all know why I got it. It's my favorite color. And it's it's eyelash trim. I knew that, but I don't know how thick it is. They have it. Oh, cool. It's a longer, more spaced out eyelash trim. Look at that. Two inches apart neat so that's cool so I got that then I got these these are a dollar and it's a stack of Budweiser coasters but look at them you guys look how thick they are for a dollar now I don't intend to use these for coasters well sorry I don't intend to keep them for Budweiser these I thought I'm gonna take one out and I'm show you chipboard this is base, this is chipboard. Nice, thick. So I plan to alter these. I thought these would be just, you know, something different. Uh, Cause I know a lot of people do ATC and there's a certain size you have to do, but I don't know. I just like these. I can make coasters out of them with, you know, and uh, I was gonna say paper, paint them and then Mod Podge them or whatever. So that make them waterproof for cups. So anyway, I just thought for a buck, yeah. I was happy about that. I didn't count them, but you can see clearly there's a lot. Okay, Value Village. I'm going to start with this. This really, this was in the, um, you know when they hang on the walls, well, the grab bags where they hang, and there's always, uh, I don't know what the category is, but birthday stuff. So they, these were in the birthday stuff, and I'm going to show you what they are. Even the girl, when I was checking out, she's like, How'd you find those? And I said, I just, I caught them. She said she would have bought them. She's a crafter. She said, oh, the crafting purposes. And I thought it was funny because they had put them in the birthday section. So they were, sorry, let me go back, $3.99. But I've never seen these. And it's vintage, reminds me almost of Graphic 45-like. I love them. So there was a bag. They're originally from Michael's, so I don't know if you guys have seen these. I don't know how long ago. Anyway, six-piece treat bags. They are all there. And this one is in the circus. Well, they're all circus, I guess, with the lady holding the balloons. 
And they're very thick beds. So there was those. And then there was a notebook, uh, a journal to go with that. The rest didn't have a journal, but I'll show you the rest. There is this set that says, you know, it's the, the little flags. Sing, dance, make music, be bold, be daring, dream big, smile. You know, all kinds of things. Creative. Again, in that beautiful, cool surface theme. Um, six pieces. They're all six pieces. And this one with the elephants on the unicycle. And then this one with elephant, bear, zebra, tiger, giraffe, and a monkey on the elephant. Is that a monkey? Anyway. So yeah, I just love them. And like I said, so did that girl. She's like, you know, because I think when they work there, they scan the store and she's she missed them. <laughs> she said she would have bought them. Okay. The next thing I have, this bag was $2.99. And it is just string uh, beads. So I'm not going to take them out of the bags. I'll just, I'll pick up the bags and just show you the colors that I got for $2.99. Good morning, Nicholas. Just recording here. My guy is waking up here. So yeah, the whole bag was $2.99. So we have them in peach. And I'll give you, so all the, the first four or the five are the same size. And then there's a, a smaller V. But anyway, the peach, it's not coming across as peach because of my lighting and the pine logs behind. But it is a peach. Uh, light blue. Light pink, pearl, white, and then a mint green, and then the smaller bead size and the light pink, so for comparison. So yeah, those were $2.99. So I got those. I'm just going to, sorry about the crinkling. And then I have three more bags to open with you guys. This one was $3.99. And the whole reason why I bought it was for this stamp right here. So we're going to open it up and see what else is in there. But I just wanted that stamp, whether $3.99 or not. And we'll get into what else is in this bag. So, yeah, on this, this I would have, it's Prima. And we know this stamp, even 50% off, would not be $3.99. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm really getting into steampunk. It's a cling stamp and look at it. I love it. Never been used. Love it. So yeah, got that. Then in this box, it looks like it's a little, it's a little kit to make love you card. Three sets. So there's a little kit for that. And then this, I believe it is, I love how Value Village does this. This looks, it's Chinese letters, which is really cool. And I bet you it's that Mijong game, I, if I'm saying that game right. I don't know if you guys, so back when I worked in corrections, they did not have, actually when I was leaving, they did. When I was leaving, the internet was coming. But before that, we only had intranet, which was the provincial, and there was nothing on there. So on midnight shift, because again, this is before cell phones, this is before you could text your friends, you had magazines, you had books. We couldn't bring in any crafting with needles. You couldn't knit, you know. It was very limited to what you could do at work. So a lot of computer games happened, and I used to play Mahjong and Solitaire to try and stay awake. Yeah, we, when the internet came, they were allowed to, the co -work, my co-workers, we were allowed to be on the internet on night shift if our uh, rounds were done and all of our stuff were done. Like, we're talking three in the morning. Day shift, no, they weren't allowed on it. But anyway, this looks like Mahjong. This looks like the game Mahjong, a magnet Mahjong set. But I will be using it for, I think, crafting. I think it'll be kind of cool. Uh, it looks like the Chinese, either... It's either yeah, the Mahjong or Alphabet. I don't know, considering it's Chinese learn words, I think. thought it was Mahjong, but it's not. Look, it's not. It's to learn what they mean and their magnets. Anyway, I don't know. There's, 
I don't, I don't, I need to learn French because I live in Canada before I learn Mandarin or whatever other, I forget what else they, there's two, anyway, two Asian, I believe, for China. Quote me if I'm wrong, if you're from there, you'll be able to tell me. Uh, we had Chinese people live with us for a few weeks back, three weeks actually, stay with us, not live with us, stay with us, and they spoke Mandarin. So I, if I still had contact with them, I would ask, but anyway, crafting purposes for me. <laughs> okay, um, this bag was $2.99, but again, I always kind of have a look through the bags, and you're going to see why. The whole reason why I got this bag was for the Fabri-Tac. It is still three quarters full. Fabri-Tac is crazy expensive for the name brand Fabri-Tac. So to have a three quarters it full for $2.99, that pays for itself right there. So I got that. The rest is just bonus. Uh, I didn't know what this was. I actually thought this was candles, but it's glitter putty. Uh, I don't know if this is for kids or what, what you do with this stuff. If any of you know, please tell me. I, I don't know. I don't know what this is for. I have no idea. I can look it up, but I don't know what this glitter putty stuff is for. But it's Createology, so I'm assuming it's not for, and it might be old. It might not be. Anyway, I don't know. Don't know. There's peach pink and uh, I don't know what's that color beige I don't know then we have a brand new folk art folk art multi-surface satin acrylic paint in medium gray brand new so I got that then we have this is from Dollarama it's full and it's a black acrylic paint which I tend to go through black and white the most, so that's great. And then original price on this was $1.99, and they are just huge. Almost like a silver white bead, pearl bead. They look like a pearl on here, but they're more uh, silver tone than they are white, and they do have the hole through them. So that was that bag. And lastly, this bag was... $2.99 and I'm going to just get right into it. There's certain things I know I didn't really get it for and certain things I did get it for. So we'll just get the junk out, not the junk, the stuff that I didn't really get it for, but it'll come in handy, this glitter glue. So, you know, I can use it for crafting or if the, well, I have boys, so they're not going to want to make uh, slime this color. But <laughs> anyway, that I could give it to my little my nieces or my little cousin. If they want to make, if we want to make uh, some slime. Then it came with this. This I did not buy it for. It's doll hair. But as with crafters, we always find uses for things. So we have blonde, like your platinum. We have a lighter blonde, and then we almost have like a I don't know what's that color, orangey red. It's a type of redhead color. Then this one's still in the bag and it's more of a light brown. So those are those. I love how Value Village has to throw, they have to throw it in the bag, so right? Or they can't sell it, right? They have to toss it. And then I guess just directions on how to put it in a doll, but again, I won't be using it for that. Then I have uh, this. Craft designer, high quality, round crystal. So this size are six point, sorry. You know I'm in my 40s, reading glasses are essential here. So we have six, eight, and 11 millimeter round crystal. And they are the flat backs. And does it say how many you get? 22 grams, so it doesn't say the amount, but the sizes it does. So full bag of those. Then this set, and again, this one didn't have an original price. Original price on this one was $1.79. Uh, these are rhinestones. These are the iron-on ones. But you can use glue, right? Uh, then we have another of the first set, same size as everything, of the 
flat back gems. Then we have another set of the iron-on rhinestones. These were made in Montreal, or anyway, from Montreal. It's called Hodges and Leto Incorporated. I don't know if they're even a store anymore. It's from LaSalle, Quebec. Anyway, those. They're a bit, are they the same size? Oh, they are the same size, okay. So those. Then we just have this little pack, and I'm going to open it quick. Sorry about the crinkling. We'll get it open, and then hopefully I won't crinkle too much anymore. So the first thing is the brads, which is really what I grabbed it for. These are a bonus. I did not see these in the bag because uh, the hair was hiding it, but I did go after it for the brads. So we have these gold brads here, silver brads, metallic. Uh, okay, so 20 pieces in those, 20 pieces, that's the same size. Uh, these are a tad bigger. Again, the sizes aren't on, but there's 15 in here of the, that size brad. They're all different sizes. Uh, another 20 metallic silver. Then we have a big, huge set, 15 pieces of that size. Then we have, uh, there's a, these are open that you can put one of these in, different color. So they're, oh, that's what they're called, rhinestone nail heads. And uh, I'll need to remember that for alley ordering. I was wondering what they were called. You know, sometimes you want something and you don't know what it's called. That's what it was. So these are rhinestone. Are they all? Oh, I thought they were brads. No, they're not. They're nail heads. Cool. Stud nail heads. Yeah, they're all nail heads. Sorry, guys. They're not brads, but I mean, I could make them work as brads. And, but anyway, they're nail heads. So that's really cool. I don't have these yet. Then we have these ones with red, blue, and amber already in them. Is there, oh, and pink. You get 70 pieces. I wonder if these are from Ali. I don't know. And then same thing. These ones have, oh, there's green, amber. I don't see blue in this one. But anyway, you get 60 pieces in this one with like the rhinestones already in them. And then, okay, no, sorry. These, okay, let me back up. These ones are the studs. You can't put the rhinestones in any of these ones. The only ones that you can put the rhinestones in, the empty ones were this 10 piece set. Anyway, then this one is a 20 piece with a, like a diamond like rhinestone already put in them. And they are also nail heads. So yeah, that is what I wanted the bag for. The other stuff was a complete bonus. So yeah, that is my Value Village haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope everyone's doing well and summer is going well. And uh, yeah, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, I'll get back to you when I can. I might take a while, but I always do. Take care, guys. Thanks. Bye.